Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And you've all loved our hand sanitizing gel video. And I've been asked a lot for an organic version. So here it is, an organic hand sanitizing gel. Now, before I show you how this is made, I do need to run through some important information with a hand sanitizing product. I am using 60% organic ethanol in this formula. It means it's flammable. It's organic, but it's still flammable. It is still ethanol. So if you're going to ship this product, it needs to travel by road and you'll need to check with your local country regulations to make sure you've got the required dangerous goods warning on your packages. I also want to point out that we see on the internet things like vodka is recommended for hand sanitizing, essential oils, herbal extracts. I want to point out, first of all, vodka is simply not strong enough. It's 40% ethanol. This is a 60% ethanol. And while ideally we would like to be making a hand sanitizing formula with 70% ethanol to make sure that it's effective in 99.9% .9 of cases, the most I could load into this formula and still be stable was 60% ethanol. So you'll just need to use a little more of this product to get the same sort of sanitizing result. Essential oils and herbal extracts are not broad spectrum in their performance. Even something like tea tree oil only protects against certain microorganisms. It is not broad spectrum. It is not sufficient to provide a full sanitizing effect. This formula will. I also get asked about some other herbal extracts and essential oils and the same applies. While certain essential oils and herbal extracts can have some antimicrobial performance, it is limited, it is not broad spectrum. Whereas this formula will provide you with broad spectrum sanitizing protection. So now let me show you how it's made. This is the product we're gonna be making today. Now it's nice and thick now, you just need to leave it overnight from what I make here. You'll see it develops its viscosity today, but it becomes very thick and very clear when you leave it overnight. Now to make this product, I have already measured out here an organic hydrosol. This is organic lavender hydrosol. I've used this so that it's got a nice lavender aroma and it overcomes some of the ethanol smell in this product. Now here I have my organic glycerin and to this I'm adding Keltrol CGT. Now this is a high quality grade of xanthan gum. This is actually a really important material in this formula because not a lot of natural gums can handle a really high input of ethanol. This formula here I am using 60% organic ethanol. Um, this is the highest we can go, it will stabilize it. And of course, using the Keltrol CGT, I end up with this beautiful clear solution. If you use a standard grade of xanthan gum, you simply won't get the stability and you definitely won't get this beautiful clear product. Now I'm just going to add this into the hydrosol to develop the gel. Now it's really important first that you make sure you get your gel to form. Uh, we've got to get this uh, gum hydrating in this hydrosol phase. Now once that has formed and we've got a nice gel forming there, we can turn the speed of the mixer up and then we add our organic ethanol slowly. Now this is a really important step. As you add the organic ethanol, you need to make sure that the gel reforms at each addition. If I was to just pour all of this ethanol into this hydrosol, this gel phase, I could cause the gel to come out of there. So to make sure that doesn't happen, I just need to add slowly and make sure the gel structure is formed, is nice and stable before adding more ethanol. And here we have 
our beautiful organic hand sanitizing gel. Now, as I mentioned, this is the viscosity of it the day that we make it. The pH comes out between six and seven, so we don't need to adjust it. And once those bubbles have settled out and the xanthan gum has fully hydrated in the gel network, we do end up with this beautiful viscous and clear product. And there you go, that's how to create an organic hand sanitizing gel. Just a couple of really important things to remember. This is a 60% ethanol solution, so it is flammable. It is organic. You could get this certified with Cosmos. I've used all compliant materials to their Cosmos standard for it to be a certified organic hand sanitizing gel. Make sure you use it liberally because ideally we'd want 70% ethanol to get a true 99.9% .9 sanitizing action. I've tested these formulas out and at 60% it remains stable. We can't go higher than that. So just use the product liberally to get a good sanitizing result. It is broad spectrum, but you just might need a little more than a regular hand sanitizer to get the same result. I used organic lavender hydrosol, but you could use another organic hydrosol in its place for a different aroma in the finished product. Make sure you're sourcing all organic materials if you want to make a certified organic product. And remember, vodka, essential oils and herbal extracts are not sufficient to give you proper hand sanitizing performance. This formula will give you a true hand sanitizing gel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.